Let's see if you can hear this. I'm gonna crack my mic right now. Okay. Did you hear it? Yeah, I heard it. That's gross. Hey, new <laughs> new review day. Um, so I'm here. Don't do that. You you got a buzz going now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm two white claws in, bro. <laughs> Getting fucking loose. All right. So so we got another review going. Um, Mr. Crazington, what is your next review? What's your next S- recommendation? Sorry. Solid recommendation, dude. This is a movie that I I've, I've gotten shit for. People some people don't like this movie, but I stick I stick by it because. I saw it when I was young. When did it come out? Uh, maybe I'm. My guess is two thousand three. Um, I'm two thousand three. That's two thousand two, two thousand three. That's my guess. Okay. All right. So I was thirteen at the time. Um, I fucking loved it, dude. Cause I love fucking a good alien movie would really fucking would really help. You know? Right. I I I, I enjoy it. I enjoy aliens and all this other shit. So when I first saw Signs, I fucking fell in love with it, dude. And what would you consider it sci-fi? Because even... to me, it's a fucking horror movie. What are we talk? What movie are we talking about? That's what I'm saying. It doesn't necessarily fit in the horror category. Yeah, what movie are we talking about? Today we're talking about Signs, dude. Ah, M Night signs. Shyamalan presents Signs. I like I said, I, like I was trying to get to. I don't know if it fits in the horror category. It's kind of sci-fi. For but sure, it, it does, dude. Fucking scenes in there no 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 no. this is a horror movie dude i'm i I got your back brother don't don't let anybody Mm -hmm. tell you somebody talk (laughs) shit call up your boy slick we're gonna fucking throw some bows bro this 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 ain't even a debate right now man so what what did you think about science when you initially saw it um it scared me dude (laughs) like i was yeah yeah it's like a pg-13 movie that's true that that's you know they don't show a lot but they show enough Okay, all right. Um, they show enough. They 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 plant a bunch of shit in your head, where you're like, okay, that's scary. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's the whole concept of Jaws, that you don't see the monster. It's the in it's the intensity and buildup, right. the suspense. Right, right, right. That grabs you, holds you, which is sketchy because I've I've watched YouTube videos of people dissecting J.J. Abrams. Because he did a TED talk on what's called the mystery box. And that's his whole theory of suspense leading to a reveal. But the thing is, the reveal has to fucking bang, dude. The reveal has to be good. I I think they they did a good job. So let's, uh, like I told you before, let's throw down the bases real quick and then we can do some spoilers, all right? Okay, so Signs is about a widower priest, which is played by Mel Gibson. And his family, mm-hmm. his wife died. They explain how his wife died. You know. uh, um, yeah, yeah. And and his brother, the Joker. Mm-hmm. River and, Phoenix. And his son, Macaulay Culkin's I mean, brother. <laughs> was that him? Yeah. <laughs> that's not him. That's and it's Macaulay Joaquin Kogan. Phoenix, by the way. I was joking. River Phoenix. <laughs> okay, the Joker. It was his brother? Macaulay Culkin's brother, yeah. That's that I did not kid. know. And then the little girl, uh, I forget what she's in. It's Dakota Fanning, though. That's who it is. <laughs> right? Shut up. I don't think so. <laughs> no, it's, uh, is it that Abigail girl? Um, Dude, I'm not even sure, to be honest. Let me look at the picture. Yeah, Ab- Abigail Bre- Breslin, or it's a girl that was in that, that movie with Steve Carell, with that movie that was all yellow, like that was the theme of the movie. <laughs> oh, fucking, um, Little Miss Sunshine? Little Miss Sunshine. That little girl from Little Miss Sunshine is the girl from this movie. Wow, I didn't know that. So, so it's about. Slick breaks it down, bro. <laughs> the, doesn't have any names for anybody but <laughs> yeah, but references up the bing <laughs> <laughs> so it's about this priest who's kind of lost his religion and his brother and his kids his wife died they're on their farm and then weird shit starts happening around right so basically the movie's about aliens that come to earth he has to deal with this and in a roundabout way finds his religion again and sort of defeats the aliens in right. what some people called a what the fuck kind of way. Yeah, definitely. Which makes, yeah, yeah. So I mean that was a little that was a little more than just throwing the bases down. You kinda gave everything away. But <laughs> from there <laughs> from there this is an old ass movie. Come on. You guys gotta go with these times. Like don't Yeah. E- either way we're recommending it. It's still fucking great. So if you haven't seen signs yet, dude, like what the fuck are you even doing? <laughs> so so 
So, 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 so. All right. Mel Gibson. Mm-hmm. All right. By the way, r- deep spoilers now. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. so they, they show. Um, so, like you said, Mel Gibson's wife um, passed away. She had um, got run down by a vehicle. Um, and the man that that killed her happens to be the director of this movie, M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he didn't... What did, He pinned her up against a tree? Was that it? Yeah, and she only had a few minutes. He got there with enough time for her to, to say, say goodbye. goodbye to her. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty fucking of, sad, dude. That's you know, rough right there. I was watching fucking Scary Movie 3. Uh-huh. <laughs> and that scene where they, <laughs> where they explain it, he gets a hot dog. He goes, <laughs> say, this is her. Do I have enough time with the bottom half? <laughs> <laughs> that movie's stupid, but there's some fucking good jokes, dude. I gotta there's go back and watch jokes. those. I gotta go yeah. back and watch those. Like, um... Yeah, but she's pinned into a tree, basically separated in uh-huh. half. And he had some time to talk to her, and she drops some pretty heavy foreshadowing. Right. As you, as you know, she uh, she's almost dying, so she's mm-hmm. kind of just... Talking a little bit of gibberish. Yeah, and she just says to, hey, tell Meryl, swing away, Meryl. And then that comes in later. Meryl's his brother. The Joker. Um, yeah, yeah, the Joker. Um, so then later we find out what she meant by that. But we'll talk about that later. Yeah, we'll, we'll get into that. So, okay. He, this is some of the cool... Sh- why this movie's fucking cool. Because mm-hmm. the little slow burn... The little slow burn. So it is you, a slow burn. So the thing is, pretty much right away, you they are kind of introducing the concept that that aliens exist and they're mm-hmm. that they're in their world, you know. So mm-hmm. they start seeing what the crop circles. Um, they start hearing rumblings on the news, that kind of shit, right? Mm-hmm. But they don't show anything. It's just they're talking about it. Um, Not until deep into the movie. Well, like halfway. It's, it's pretty deep, dude. But the, but initially, when he looks in his crop field and he sees a shadow, like, it's just fucking with you right there. Yeah, so he does see a shadow. He just thinks somebody's running and fucking with him because he hears somebody on his roof as well. Yeah, dude, this movie's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> d- d- I love this movie. Doesn't the alien take out the dog or something? Something like that happened? Is that is that what? Yeah, I don't know. Because I remember it's there was a dog. I don't know. But either way, like, they know somebody's around, but they don't exactly think it's an alien yet. They're just... Hearing something and then they see shadows and the shit. Dog, it's in yeah. mm-hmm. middle of the, middle of the night, you know. A- after this, um, yeah, they start showing shit on the news a little more, and Joaquin Phoenix is deep into it, and he's yeah, he's going he started, full. <laughs> he's he started, engulfed in. He's starting to hang out in the closet with his fucking tinfoil hat kind of thing, <laughs> and watching the news and fucking going crazy. Like, hey, are you listening to this? Fucking this and this, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's get into the fucking probably best part of the movie um on on some of these reviews that i've been doing adrian i've been like uh breaking down certain parts that just stick to me like fucking yeah. crazy like i i mentioned um on 28 days later where he goes into that church and he says he says hello and then those two dudes look up at him real quick i know you know that fucking scene mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm. terrifying right yeah so, yeah so quick but it's fucking like it sticks with you 28 so, days later man that was a good one fuck dude hell yeah so uh, in this movie, there's a news report, and they're just watching it, and and it's like a they're like in Mexico or something, right? The, the, I think it was like Brazil, maybe. Maybe okay. So maybe. E- e- either way, they're, they're filming a, a kid's birthday party, which mm-hmm. looks re- it looks real, like you know what I mean? They're just the found footage, the found sort footage, of style, yeah. yeah. So you see kids fucking running, and they're looking through a window, and then all you hear is some little kid go, "It's behind!" <laughs> like mm-hmm. it's <laughs> yeah. fucking hilarious, you know. But then it's just a, a small little um, hallway, and then you see a fucking alien walk by, and it's fucking scary because to this point in the movie, this is like what forty minutes deep, an yeah, hour deep, yeah, like yeah, yeah. And then they finally show it, and then Joaquin <clears throat> Phoenix's reaction, <laughs> like what the he, fuck, dude? His reaction was the same I felt, and as I seen people in the movie theater freak out, was, was, they were just and and you know what you know what I liked about it's it? It's so dude? quick, dude, and it's it wasn't awesome. It wasn't a jump scare. No, no, no. They like, didn't have a loud sound that did this. They just showed it, and it was. It they're was telling fucking... you like, like, hey, watch this. Look, there's yeah. a news report. You're watching with Joaquin Phoenix. I mean, the yeah. Joker. You're watching it with him, and then you just see an alien pass by really quick. I, I don't know, dude. That fucking scene always trips me out. And it doesn't look super scary and everything, but the no, just the fact yeah. that that it's like, you didn't know what to expect. They finally show it, 
so, something about it, dude. The whole sus- the they you were along the along for the ride, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I know, just, because it you're just, because it kind of sets it up where you're like, all right, what's going on here? Yeah, like looking into. Yeah, just like he was. Mm-hmm. Like, oh man, it's great, dude. That that part's fucking really dope. Yeah. So and then also we're, when we're, when he goes to look at the guy who killed his wife, he went to his house and the guy wasn't there, but he was in his kitchen. And then for some reason these aliens can't open doors. Yeah. But he saw like a shadow underneath the thing and he grabs a knife and he puts the knife to use it as a mirror to look underneath. Mm-hmm. And then you just see the hand, the fucking alien's hand right there. And he yeah. fucking chops off his fingers right away. That was fucking dope. Just freaks out. That was a fucking killer scene. That was scene. a fucking cool ass scene. The scene in the basement when they're running away from oh, him. Oh, no. that No, I think you described that scene a, a little bit wrong, though. Um, what was that? The dude was there. And he, and then he tells him, he's like, I locked one in, in the in the pantry. Oh, that's right. That's right. He gives that's him the right. explanation, like, basically, like, yeah. I, I hate myself yeah. for killing your wife and making mm-hmm. you lose your faith. He's saying shit like mm-hmm. that. It's like a deep ass conversation, like. Something that I can't forgive myself. And from the that little conversation, it kind of seems like he's going off to kill himself or something. I don't know, dude. I don't, yeah, I don't he, know if was, it, it was dark, right. you know? Because he's just like, I, you know, I can't. It's, it's hard for me to live with myself. You know, I I made a fucking pastor or priest lose his faith. Like, that's to him, that was like, fuck, dude. I fucked up. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then that's what he tells him. Like, hey, watch out. I, I locked one in the pantry. And then and it takes off. And then just fucking goes and kills himself. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. I don't know what the fuck he did. <laughs> But yeah, so Mel Gibson fucking, that's when that's when that scene that you're talking about like, chops his, that yeah. fucking alien's fingers off. That was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm. There's a lot of fucking cool scenes, and they're not necessarily because the reason why I say horror is shit nowadays is the jump scares. Yeah, it's that they they, it's they can't depend on that man. Like, Mm-mm. you don't need some big complicated story. You just need an A and a B, but take us on a dope ass journey. Mm-hmm. Fucking film it nice. Maybe a little music for ambiance, depending on what type of movie you're doing. Yeah. That's all you fucking need, dude. A slow burn movie is okay. You can make a fucking fantastic piece of work with a slow burn. Just make the payoff fucking dope, you know? Yeah, yeah. You don't have to so, s- you don't have to fucking be doing dumb shit and then slam a like you said that jump scare. Sorry. Yeah. Man. That's and it's just like where is this sound coming from? Uh, well, one thing <laughs> one thing Tarantino broke down and like when he was breaking down his filmmaking is that if you hear music or a sound there has to be a source if you hear a song just like in fucking uh reservoir dogs uh-huh. you ever listen to k billy super sound of the 70s turns on the radio and then there's a fucking song playing yeah that, that there, i get what you're saying yeah yeah there has to be a source to the thing so if something pops up where's the fucking coming from right oh uh, yeah if you put it that way yeah that makes sense yeah, yeah. all right so what else about this movie adrian it's just amazing, dude. Uh, uh, Do you want to give out the 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 ender ender or or how should we? So the thing is, Joaquin Phoenix, the Joker, the Joker, <laughs> he used to play baseball. So the yeah. reason the reason why Mel Gibson's wife told him to swing away is because there was this huge foreshadowing. Eventually, I don't know. Do you want to give it away? Eventually, there's an alien in the house. Okay, we're gonna give it away. So okay. if you if you could stop the review here if you don't want to know it, but we're gonna mm-hmm. give that. The ender away, and it, it, it he used to play baseball, so she could have just been saying like something like "swing away," like mm-hmm. that. That's her her way of saying like goodbye, you know. That or she maybe her fucking memory was firing up, and she was at a game or something. Maybe oh. yeah, just just talking some gibberish. However, mm-hmm. that's that's what ends up helping them save the world, I guess. You know. So his um, Mel Gibson's kid has asthma, mm-hmm. and they're like. There's there something's happening in the house, but they fucking turn around. There's an alien, and he's holding this kid. Yeah, and and, but you're forgetting some... that the little girl keeps leaving glasses of water all over the fucking house. Yes, yes. yes. For whatever reason, that she's like, what does she say? She says something like, "Oh, this is this is it old water." Weird. Yeah, it yeah, weird or something. Yeah. yeah. So then, um, eventually, the alien has a kid, and Mel Which gets is scary. Looks... <laughs> like fucking. That was fucking terrible because <laughs> these aliens are fucking big ass dudes. Yeah. They're fucking shot us in this motherfucker. <laughs> so, <laughs> they, um, <laughs> he looks at fucking the Joker and he, he tells him to swing away. And he's like, what? And he looks up and they have a mounted baseball bat that he used to use. So he fucking starts cracking on this damn alien and he falls down 
and he starts knocking over these glasses of water. Mm-hmm. And then you realize that these aliens can't get wet for some reason. It they ain't got that them. whap. You know what I mean? They, they can't. They ain't got no whap. <laughs> yeah. So I've heard they people can't last two shit. minutes with Cardi B, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I've heard people give shit about this, like ooh water. But I thought it was kind of cool, dude. Like I thought it was awesome. Yeah. The 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 water did it like fall on his head or something? Like a glass tip on his over, shoulder. Yeah. And he just and starts starts sizzling, huh? Yeah. And then they all kind of fuck off. Those motherfuckers must have the driest ass skin. Like seriously. Like, dude, you can't is is you can't use lotion, nothing like that. It all <laughs> kind of ha- has that water tendency to it, you know. It kind of makes sense in theory. Um. I don't know. I haven't done the research yet, but <laughs> I think never made an alien. <laughs> I think our planet's made up of something like 80% of water. Some gnarly amount, yeah. That you don't find on other planets. So to come here and then have a foreign substance like water, it makes sense to me. I can they see that, dude. It. I can see yeah. that. I just love this movie, dude. This was a it's, fucking great movie. It's really movie. fucking cool. It's it's fun. It's a fun movie, dude. And it's a fun movie. That slow burn to get to that fucking alien in yeah. Brazil or whatever the fuck he was was fucking awesome. And the acting's pretty fucking good, man pretty fucking good let us know what your favorite scene is because i know there's a lot of fucking cool shit in there and i don't want to talk about everything but there's been there's some good ass shit dude signs check it out dude you have that on vhs yeah dude i haven't i haven't rewound it yet but it's it's it works (laughs) (laughs) you dick you're the guy that doesn't rewind it's my own copy. I can do whatever the fuck I want. I'm not That's taking it to the video store. <laughs> do you right. only have it on VHS? Uh, I might. I can't remember if I have a DVD or not. <laughs> All right, no, man. I actually do have a DVD. It's such a waste, huh? I have copies. <sighs> it's so dumb. It's I'm crazy. sorry. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> Later. <laughs>